Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you an unboxing of the all-new Apple HomePod Mini. Now this is something I've been waiting for for quite some time. I've actually been waiting for Apple to update their HomePod, but we haven't seen that in, well, ever since it was introduced. So this is the new HomePod for the time being until the bigger version gets an update. Now I've been waiting for this because I have a lot of Apple HomeKit devices, a lot of lighting and outlets that could use this functionality instead of me just telling my phone to do it. So this is a fantastic addition to my smart connected home, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and get to the box. On the front here, we have a picture of the HomePod Mini itself. We have a side panel where it says the name of the product. Another picture on the other side. And the same exact thing, but on the other side. It also says Mini, just in a different font. On the top, we have a, well, top view of the HomePod. And on the bottom, we have all the information. Here you can see what devices are supported to communicate with the HomePod Mini. And it's a pretty typical Apple design box, so we will get a opening device here. We will cut along one of the sides and we will open it up. Oop, it was gonna fall out there. Okay, so let's move the plastic aside and let's open it up. It's coming out the bottom. Ah, oh, there it is. There's nothing else inside. You can see we have, of course, custom design packaging as usual. We have a little indent there at the top to help keep it centered. So we will remove the device here. Oh, interesting. It uses a USB type C connector. In the bottom, we have a pull tab here. So we'll go ahead and do that. There's an issue with the pull tab. It pushed in there. So we'll have to take this out first. What is in here? Oh, it's just a cardboard piece. Set that aside. Okay, now we can reach our pull tab and everything falls out. I'm very happy. So, what do we have? We have HomePod Mini. Tells you about the device, how you can communicate with it, and the amount of taps on the top. More information on the opposite side. Of course, if you already have a HomePod, I'm sure this is incredibly similar to what you already have. Oh, and how interesting. There's also an Apple sticker, but it is stuck to the backing of this cardboard. Interesting, they didn't put it on a separate sheet. Of course, you could pull this tab and um, get it out, but I'm just gonna leave it there for the time being. And here we have an Apple USB-C charger. I don't have one of these yet. I'm sure this will charge my phone as well. I don't know why it wouldn't. I'm sure it's the same charger that you would buy all by itself directly from Apple. Very nice. And of course the bottom of the box, there's nothing left. So let's take a look at the HomePod itself. It definitely has an interesting texture to it. Now I've seen the regular HomePod in the Apple store, but I've never held it. I've always just left it there. Of course, you can play with the top and do things. Uh, but anyway, on the bottom here, looks like we have a pull tab. We have the Energy Star logo. So let's pull this off. Oh, very nice. Of course, there is an Apple logo on the bottom. You find all your extra information, serial number. And we have a braided cable. That's pretty cool. We have some little pull tabs here. We'll take our cardboard retainer off. Let's see how long of a cord we get. Of course we're off camera a little bit here. Um, let me stretch it all the way out. So I'd say that's about four feet maybe. Four feet of cable. Of course we have our 20 watt USB type C adapter here. Pull the side. And, uh, we'll take that off. It is raining very heavily outside at the moment. Very simple. And that gets plugged in. Again, it doesn't matter what way. 
because it works in both directions. Wonderful. I will get a power source and let's turn it on. Before we plug it in, let's go ahead and compare it to another Apple speaker. Here we have one of the speakers from the Apple iMac G4. Of course, these were also made for the Power Mac G4, the Apple Pro speakers at the time. Now, they're about the same size, interestingly enough. However, the old G4 speaker here is a little bit bigger, as you can see. So, we have the old Apple speaker technology and the all new. Pretty neat. I'd bring it over further, but it's connected to my computer setup at the moment. And of course, with this channel being lighting, we have to compare it to a regular 60 watt incandescent bulb. And it looks like, if you were to cover up the base here, it's pretty much the same height. So there we go. Comparing it to a bulb. It had to be done. So we're going to set it down here. I do have a power source and we will set it up. So I will plug it in and let's see it's not really doing anything so let's give it a touch and we see a loading kind of circle there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these two lights because we're going to use the iPad to set up the HomePod Mini. Very nice. It is important to make sure, well, that your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is on. And you just bring your device, your iPhone or iPad, near and, well, it shows right up. So we'll hit set up. It'll ask you what room this will be in. We will put it in the living room. Let's see what it's going to ask next. It asks us about Apple Music. I do not have Apple Music at this moment. I use all of my... Well, I still use an iPod Classic, believe it or not. So I'm a very much music within iTunes type person. So we will hit Not Now. And you can have it recognize your voice. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. We will select Recognize My Voice. Okay. Very good. This talks about how other members in the household can also use the HomePod Mini. And I have my two friends that uh, are rooming with me here, and they are members of the Home app, so as it suggests, they will get a notification, I am sure. And of course, it tells you how to communicate with it. Terms and conditions, as always. Accounts and settings. Center the home pod in the frame, so we will move it up here, and uh, Let's get it, oh, they really want you to. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say, hey, Siri. Let's get started. Say, hey, Siri, what can you do? Hey, Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. Hey Siri, turn on the kitchen light. It looks like you haven't set up any HomeKit accessories. You can connect smart devices, like lights, locks, and thermostats in the Home app. Okay, so we'll figure that out. But... We'll go ahead and hit done and it appears that our home pod mini is all set up so i'm going to go ahead and enjoy some music on this device i would love to play music for all of you but of course copyright is a thing so here we are all set up uh, i'm sure this will appear in some type of video whenever i make one about all the lighting and outlets and all the other smart stuff that is currently here at the uh, apartment home. Pretty cool. Well, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. And the sticker, it still comes out.